pretty important to stop everything I was doing and take a moment to focus on one of the things that has meant a lot to me. And it's a very common problem, actually, um, throughout the nation. Oh, how much more to be seen, feelings to be felt. Who's in the, those pictures you drew? Just people. Imaginary friends. Now cut it out. Mikhail's allowed to have imaginary friends. You had one when you were three, remember? How does it make you feel? When somebody picks on you? Just really mad. How mad? Really? Does it hurt? Well, they just make me mad. Does it hurt your feelings? Sometimes. Yeah. It's okay. Does anybody do anything about it? You feel teachers care? No. So? All the teachers say it to me is, who are you worrying about? That's all. What are you what? Who are you supposed to be worrying about? Who are you supposed to be worrying about? That's all they say. Uh, class, it's time for the study for the exam. He thinks he's a girl. First question. What event in the 1930s led many farmers leaving their lands? Kimberly? The dust bowl. Very good, Kimberly. Next question. Which portion of the land was governed by Spain with the exception of Belize? Stop it. Yes, sir. Oh, me? Yeah, it looks like you volunteered. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, little no girl, go ahead. Stop it! So they don't really help you much? They just don't help me. Is this all over? Is this at school? At the bus? On the bus? At everywhere? Just at school and on the bus. Is it always the same kids? Or is it different kids? Just one different kid on the bus. And there's a girl? Because they're bigger than you? Yeah. Yeah. But bullying is a nationwide, if not a world, problem. And it tends to affect education a lot. It tends to affect uh, families. It does affect not just the individual um, either, but it can affect the family of the individual who is the bully. And in this movie I was working on, um, my character actually plays uh, a kid, a high school age student who is tormented and bullied. And it doesn't seem like those in authority are really doing a whole lot or enough. Your mom's on her way here. Hope you know she's not happy with you. You just got yourself suspended for the rest of the semester. Well, that's six weeks. That means you're gonna be a semester behind in all your classes now. Whatever. This school sucks. Excuse me? No, I'm not excusing you. It's bastards like that that get away with it. It's untrained jerks like you who look the other way. I might as well just kick you out of school altogether. You're rude. And you, sir, are weak. Too weak to punish the right person and do the right thing. I mean, 
makes me mad and helpless. Makes me not want him to be in school. Thinking about homeschooling him. We hear about it in the news or in the papers after somebody has already taken their own life. It's too late. But how many out there are actually still going through this that's not too late yet? And if you are the individual who decides to poke fun uh, at somebody's expense, maybe take a moment to think. You know, think of it this way. You may be about to commit a murder in an indirect way. Because your actions are the cause of somebody's death. There's a lot out there that are not accepting of it. You know, we are being who we are in the movie. I do understand. But to be honest, you sent the wrong kid home. I think you should deal with this appropriately. You know what? We'll transfer to another school. I think you did the right thing. Those bastards just don't want to stop. Okay. And I think you got the shaft this time. Yeah, well, in this world, you have to stand up for yourself. Otherwise, you just continue picking on someone until they stand their own ground. Fortunately, with jerks like that, the cycle will just continue. The school's pushing for suspension for the rest of the semester. Well, good for them. That's nine weeks, sir. You're talking to the wrong kid. I should still be in the hellhole. That's why I came up. I agree with that part of it. But starting a fight isn't going to look good. Well, the school doesn't do anything when I take the peaceful approach. I'm not doing it anymore. As I don't support fighting, I support your decisions most of the time. So again, please, if you are the to-be bullier, or are participating in those kind of actions, again, please, stop and think, you know, could you be taking that person's life? Would you be willing to live with that for the rest of your life? Hey. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm serious, boys. Okay, Mom. Sorry. <sighs>